you've ever shopped for computer cases, then you've probably seen that you can get computer cases that might fit ATX and micro ATX. And as the name implies, micro ATX is the same idea as that ATX motherboard, but it's a little bit smaller. We shrunk it down just a little bit. Now, obviously, when you shrink something down a little bit, you're not going to be able to fit quite as many things inside of it. So you've gotten rid of a number of things like expansion slots. Not quite as many expansion slots in a micro ATX, but you had to drop something. And if your requirements are such that you don't need a lot of expansion, maybe micro ATX with its smaller form factor, it'll fit on your desk a little bit better, would be right for you. Now, what's nice about this, it has similar mounting points and has similar power connectors to a traditional ATX. So people that were going from a bigger ATX motherboard and didn't want to didn't want to have to swap out the, the case that they had, they could remove their ATX and put in micro ATX. It had a smaller motherboard with perhaps less power, and it took up a lot less space, but you didn't have to replace the entire case to be able to do that. This is a really popular form factor. It's still being manufactured. The small size of it or the smaller size of it makes makes it very useful for use on a desktop or in places where you don't have a lot of room. And if you look at it, it has a similar layout to the ATX motherboard. In fact, there's the memory going one direction and your expansion slots going the other direction. But you can see it's a little bit smaller. Everything is fitting into a smaller form factor here. And that's why it's a little bit more of an advantage if you want to put a computer on your desktop that you get one with the smaller motherboard on there. Just keep in mind, not as many opportunities to expand it as you might have with a traditional larger ATX motherboard board. The CompTIA exam also requires that you know about the NLX form factor. It's a little bit of a conundrum for me because you're not going to find the NLX form factor anywhere out there anymore, at least not on newer systems. You may find this on a legacy system. So the idea is you've come across an older system. You're trying to figure out what motherboard is this. You may have come across an NLX form factor. This stands for New Low Profile Extended. And this was something that was standardized from what was another motherboard type called an LPX. The idea behind the NLX form factor is that you had this accelerated graphics port, a very specialized graphics interface right on the system. This was about the time when we needed to have faster video. So you're talking about a Pentium 2, Pentium 3 time frame. It's when the NLX uh, motherboard was out. This also had really nice thermal characteristics. We were talking earlier about how the BTX motherboard allowed the air to flow very smoothly through here. The NLX form factor also allowed for air to flow through very smoothly. It was designed to that. We'll look at the motherboard in just a moment, and I'll show you how, to, how that works. It was also really designed to be very, very easy to maintain. You could replace the entire motherboard without taking out any of your expansion slots, without having to unscrew anything. You could simply pop the motherboard out and pop a new one back in, and you're back up and running again. So the idea is, especially in corporate environments where time is money, this became very useful. You could just pop it out and pop it back in. Uh, the challenge, though, is that it didn't really catch on. It was very specialized. It was, I think, an Intel-type platform, or the ones that I'd seen were Intel-based NLX motherboards. In the end, it's something that you don't find any more on newer systems. The ideas were good, just wasn't very practical. The ATX motherboard took off. And once you have a, something like that that's very standardized, it's hard to fit another type of format in there. But what you'll find is this is an NLX motherboard that I actually had sitting around that I blew the dust off of. And I pulled it out of its case so you could see this. All of your expansion slots are up here on this daughter board, on this riser card. That's it's very specific to NLX. NLX will always have this riser card here, and it's got this big interface right here that connects this, this secondary daughter board to the motherboard itself. And that's what I meant where you could remove the motherboard, disconnect it from your system, and just slide a new one right in, and you didn't have to remove any of your expansion slots. You can't do that with ATX. You can't do it with BTX. You can't do that with micro ATX. With all of those, you have to take your expansion cards off of there and put it into the new motherboard. So again, built for speed. And notice everything flowing one direction from a, an air perspective made it very easy to cool. Notice also that the accelerated graphics port, the AGP video, which at one time was the thing for video on a system. We could take a very specialized high-speed video card, high graphics video card, and plug it right into this NLX motherboard, really designed for that. You really couldn't fit that one on this expansion card, unfortunately. It needed to be really close to the memory and the CPU. 
but it was again something that was very standardized. So if you happen to see this motherboard, you'll notice that immediately it's an NLX motherboard because of this extra daughter card, the motherboard having this big connection to it, and the AGP built right onto the motherboard itself. Very different than the ATX or the BTX motherboards we looked at earlier. So let's review some of the things we've learned about these motherboard form factors. First question is, what is the most popular motherboard form factor? Based on some of the things we've seen, we know that the ATX and even the micro ATX have really been the predominant motherboard out there. And you'll find this ATX motherboard almost everywhere. It's very easy to find, very easy to replace if you ever need one. Which motherboard form factor was designed to better dissipate heat? Well, it wasn't the ATX, because you remember we had those 90 degree angles. It was our BTX motherboard, the Balance Technology Extended Motherboard. They really put everything in a row and had that uh, really nice airflow all the way through the computer, which is why you see this already still today on a number of proprietary motherboards. And lastly, which now defunct motherboard form factor was easy to maintain? Well, that was the one we were just looking at. That's our NLX, the new low profile extended motherboard with those separate pieces. You didn't even need tools. You could pull it out. You could put a new motherboard in, and you were up and running as quickly as possible. Well, that covers what we needed to know in this module about motherboard form factors. We've gone through our ATX motherboards, our BTX form factors, our micro ATX, and finally, we've looked at that now defunct NLX motherboard type. If you'd like to go through any of our free a videos, you'd like to participate in our message board, send me an email or much more, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.